Well, the days of putting coins in a slot machine for a chance to win a jackpot may be coming to an end. One gaming company is betting on a more immersive experience for gamblers. Our very own Jeff Flock in Chicago with the future of these things, WMS Industries. Jeff. I've got one of them here. Does this look like your father's slot machine? No, I don't no. think so. It's totally interactive. It's all touchscreen. Pretty amazing. Uh, Wizard of Oz game. We got another one over here. This is called the Spider-Man game. The first time these are being seen, by the way, anywhere on television. This is a Spider-Man game. Look at the chair. This is actually one of the heads of development of the company. This is a chair that actually moves. You don't even have to be drunk to be moving on a slot machine chair these days. I've got the president of the company with me here. Uh, Oren, tell me, these games, huge for you, innovation drives you. It really does, and we've been able to take the greatest content from some of these great games and put them into other channels of distribution, such as Interactive as well. I was going to say, I want to talk about Interactive as we put the stock board up. Your stock has been kind of beaten down in the last year because you have bet a lot on Interactive. Uh, other gaming stocks, if we put them up there, have had some bigger run-ups, but you are poised for kind of a big run-up. Yeah, we think so. When we're exploiting several channels of distribution, not only the wagering sites, but also social casinos and Facebook games like Jackpot Party. I was going to say, take a look over here on Facebook. This is something called Jackpot Party. You can play this on Facebook. Uh, you don't win money now, but it's, it's not real this money. A, this is a play for fun site, but it has all the social virality that you would expect from a Facebook type You game. are already, if we get an approval on gaming online in the U.S., and you do it already in other countries, you're ready to go. In fact, we were licensed yesterday by the Nevada Gaming Commission for our poker license in, the United, in, in Nevada, which is the first step towards legal gaming across the United States. I was going to say, when that takes off, you're going to be taken off. Yeah, we have real high hopes for that because we're doing so well in other places outside the U.S. Orrin Edidin, the president of WMS Industries. A lot of exciting stuff out here. They've got more than 100 new games that they're introducing at the big gaming show. It comes up next month in Las Vegas. Right. Where else? And if the stock's been beaten down, you buy the stock when it's low. It exactly. looks like it has potential. Jeff exactly. Flock, thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. Are you looking Thanks, to guys. diverse?